All right, citizens of Buffalo, we're back. And it's time for us to continue our GM mode with the Buffalo Sabres. Taking the team into year number five. Looking to build on the successes that we attained in year number four. Oh, man. And look, the first thing that we got to face in preseason, the team that kicked us out in the first round. We were up 2-0 against the Boston Bruins, and they stormed back to win 4-0. Oh, I know what it's like to be ahead of the Boston Bruins in a playoff game, let me tell you. But that's all right. We're a young team still. I know success... It's taking a little bit longer than everyone wanted to see that success, but I think once it happens, it's not going to be able to turn off. We're going to have a sweet, sweet-ass roster, a young roster, that's going to be able to take the Buffalo Sabres into the next uh, generation, a successful generation. Kids, whole generations of kids will only remember a successful Buffalo Sabres franchise, all right? And it begins now. So... We're up here at the beginning of year number five. I want to go, uh, do a good chunk of simulating in this video. But we have some major problems. The team that we had last year, I don't think is going to last the entire year this time. Just because we have young guns who are now NHL players, legitimate NHL players. And they're going to want ice time. But they're not going to be able to take it away from our veterans without somebody becoming unhappy. So, I want to just go down the list here. I have some trades. I've done some pre-scouting. I do want to get some simulating done, so this may be a jam-packed episode. So, the first line, Jack Eichel, Ryan O'Reilly, Sam Reinhardt. Nothing is changing about this line. These guys, I think, are the uh, the core of the forwards. Yes, Turris and Kane and Simmons are... Uh, um, are necessary, useful pieces for our team. But these guys, they've been getting it done all in the first line for like the last three years. I think I put them together, I think it was this year, 17 and 18. It might have been, it might have been this year, 16, 17. All right, but the last two years, look what Ryan O'Reilly's done. 71 points, 64 points, 25 goals, 26 goals. He's uh, He's been pulling his own weight. Sam Reinhart, same thing. Just show you guys his stats. 73 points last year, 80 points the year before that. Both 20-goal seasons. And then Jack Eichel. I know we were uh, wanting a little bit more out of him. I was learning what the GM mode was all about on current gen. I think I ruined his potential. But still, he's a uh, serviceable player. And he completes that piece on that first line. Reinhardt, O'Reilly, and Eichel. They get it done together. All 20 goal seasons the last two years and uh, 56 points, 51 points. Cool. I, I, I wouldn't mind a little bit more out of him, but that's okay. So that first line is really our core line. We've got to build around them. Second line, Evander Kane, Kyle Turris, and Wayne Simmons. We're going to keep these guys together for this year, but I wouldn't say that this line goes too much further. Turris is 30 years of age. Wayne Simmons is 31. I mean, that perfect age for players that you want to win with right now but uh look at this guy yanny alton and the third overall pick in the year that we drafted Stuart skinner once he's ready to take over on the second line bye bye wayne simmons bye bye evander kane one of them right and there's another winger who's down in the ahl burkholz right wing sniper same deal once he's ready to go bye bye evander kane bye bye wayne simmons so you have the first line that's young ready to go for the next five years at least Second line is the right now line, and they're going to be replaced by Altonin and Burkholz. And then we got to get the, uh, oh, I guess Estefan, if he grows to a second line center, that could be it. So it could be Eichel, O'Reilly, Reinhardt, uh, Estefan, Altonin, and Burkholz. And that could be your future right there. All right. Now, third line, Adam Ernie, Gergensons, and Altonin. I want to give Altonin third line right wing time, but, uh, I got, I, got, I got a bunch of players who are 84 overall, and I don't know if I want these three as, or these two as the third liners, because you also have Johan Larson, uh, Giorgio Estefan, who everyone was saying you got to go third line center position. I would agree with that. And then Nicholas Baptiste. But look at these guys. They're all third line checkers or third line scorers. They're going to be angry with fourth line time. So I got to figure out what I want to do with that. And also defensively, we got Ryan Ellis from last year, offensive defenseman. He's going to remain on the first line. Sean Day and Brendan Gooley, both top four defensemen. I want to give them the ice time now. And that leaves Zach Bogosian on the uh, top six, which is not good enough for him. Rasmus Ristolainen, he is a uh, he's listed as a top six defenseman, so he's fine right there. But Bogosian's listed as a top four defenseman. And I don't want to give him penalty kill time, power play time. I want that to be for these guys. And power play needs to be for extra forwards. So, Bogosian just doesn't have a spot on the team. I know he's 29 years of age. Same thing as a Wayne Simmons or Turris. But we don't have... Um, well, actually, our defensemen, our young defensemen, have already replaced him. So it's not like Altonen or Burkholz. So, Bogosian, considering he's only got one year left on his deal... 
I'm going to have to re-sign him for like north of $6 million if I want to hold on to him this year. And that is if he doesn't get angry with the lack of ice time, it's just way too much, right? So I've, I've uh, created a list here, boys, of people that I want to trade away. And the way it reads right now, Zach Bogosian, Larson, Ernie, and Gergensons are all up for trade, all right? So I already uh, did some pre-scouting. I want to go through the teams here. All right, so the first one. Let's go and try to get that uh, top six defenseman to play alongside of Rasmus Ristolainen. I was thinking of a left-handed defenseman, somebody who would uh, have a good place on this team, and I found out the Edmonton Oilers, perfect spot. Perfect position, perfect player to play the top six. Defenseman, I don't want to ruin it. Hang on a second. Yes, Griffin Reinhardt. We can get uh, Sam Reinhardt's older brother to come play for the Buffalo Sabres. They already have Justin Schultz, Mike Green, Darnell Nurse, so I'm not taking away one of their best three defensemen. Actually, let me sort by uh, overall here. They have like five better defensemen than him. Yeah, he's all the way down here. He's number six, and they still have Oscar Clefbaum. So... The reason I like Sam Reinhardt, uh, uh, Griffin Reinhardt, now I'm going to get mi <laughs> mistaken with all these names. One year left at $2 million, 25 years of age, and he's the same kind of thing as a Rasmus Ristolainen. and maybe has better potential than he's become. Actually, his potential's dropped at top six, but he's a high top six player, 83 overall. There's a lot, a lot of guys that I found who were like 83, 82, who were still top four defensemen, so... Uh, I think this is a good one. His defensive awareness is nice. He's got good discipline. And um, his stats, it's not like the Edmonton Oilers have used him to go on a deep playoff run. If you look at playoff stats, he's only got one playoff game, all right? Back in 2014-2015. Uh, all right. Very nice. That must have been with the, uh, the Islanders. Yeah, that must have been with the Islanders. All right, so he hasn't had a playoff game with uh, the Edmonton Oilers just as of yet. So I'm going to put Griffin Reinhardt in there. And going back the other way, I don't know if this is going to work or not, but Adam Ernie, we've had a, a nice run with him. If you remember, I traded Matt Molson for a young Adam Ernie who had a uh, elite potential. I just don't like his stats. I have so many power forwards, Adam Ernie, Altonen, Baptiste. And of all three, I want to use Altonen, and I like Baptiste defensive categories a lot more. Adam Ernie's more of an offensive power forward but I just don't have room for him in the top six and I don't need any bottom six offensive minded players I need defensive minded players all right so Adam Ernie you're gonna get in there I don't know if that trade would go through so I wrote down hang on a second because the trade values were still pretty similar don't worry boys I'm, I'm looking to get some uh, simulating done in this video just the guys with the potential that I know I'm not going to use like AHL top two I don't need him Stajans brother uh, AHL top two. Let me just get some decent trade value. Paul Moo. Holding on you. Bottom six. No. Top six defenseman. Hedin. No. AHL top four. There we go. AHL top four. What else we got? Bottom six. Holding on you. AHL top six. Yeah, I don't need any AHL players. Isbister. Uh, they like their Isbisters over there in, uh, the island. Baldwin. AHL top four. I already got him in there. Claxton, AHL top two. I'll throw him in there. All right. So you got Adam Ernie staging, Baldwin, Isbister, and Claxton for Griffin Reinhardt. So let's see if I can reunite the Reinhardt brothers. Will it go through? Yes, it did. These are possible moves that will have to be made if you complete this trade. All right. So I guess I'm, yeah, I'll do that after. Don't worry. On behalf of the Edmonton Oilers organization, I accept your trade offer. We'll see you out on the ice. I know we're going to run into chemistry issues with all these trades, boys. But that's why I'm doing it now. I don't want to make the trades mid-season. And I know I'm going to run into problems. All right, you guys have uh, educated me on GM mode. So roster moves. Let's get this sorted out. I still got 18 players. I'll do it after. Yeah, I'll do, I'll do it. Ah, is it. Is it doing the turbo thing again now? Hang on. Yeah, turbo, turbo. While it's doing turbo, I might as well tell you guys a story. You know... Oh, never mind. It fixed itself. I'll save the story for another time. All right. Uh, best lines. Yeah, I'll come back and do this afterwards. Yeah, Victor Hedman has lost morale for being stripped of... Oh, for God's... No, I didn't want Wayne Simmons to be the captain. I just did best line. Ah, that was the thing I was saving. I had three alternates from last year. Ryan O'Reilly. Uh, 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 what's his name? Kyle Turris and Victor Hedman. I was going to name my captaincy in this video. Freaking best lines does your captain. Holy crap. All right, well, whatever. There is uh, Reinhardt traded, right? Yes, Reinhardt. Okay, now the next one. Now, this one may not make a lot of sense for people, but I wrote down the kind of lines that I want. Considering I have Estefan and Altonen on the third line, a two-way forward and a power forward, 
you know, these guys, they have decent defensive stats, but I wouldn't mind them getting some offense as well because they're young guns and I want them to become second liners for next year. So I was thinking of a playmaker for the third line and there was one left wing playmaker that was good enough but didn't have a lot of trade value that I spotted. All right, Nicholas Ehlers, Ehlers from the Winnipeg Jets. There he is. He's listed as a top nine low, so it's not like he's got uh, incredible amounts of potential. I know he's drafted ninth overall by Winnipeg in 2014. Let's see what he's done. His first NHL season, 55 points, not bad. Last year, only 37 points, 17 goals, a minus eight. So, uh, you know, it's not their best player. They have plenty of other guys like Shifley and Wheeler and Paton, Armia... Yeah, 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 so this makes sense. All right, so Ehlers for the third line to play alongside of Estefan and Altonen. And for Ehlers, what did I have? Oh, yeah, yeah, this one was the big one. So I wanted to make sure that when I traded away my stud players, I get them to the Western Conference. We can send Zach Bogosian back to the team that drafted him. Well, not the Atlanta Thrashers, but the Winnipeg Jets, baby. All right, straight up, Bogosian for Ehlers. I might as well throw in a draft pick if I can get that in there. I don't want to uh, spend too much time to get every possible ounce of value I can for Bogosian. I just want to make this trade go through. I don't even know if that'll go through. I might have to get a fourth or just nothing. Will it go through on behalf? Yes, it did. On behalf of the Winnipeg Jets organization, I accept your trade offer. We'll see you out on the ice. All right, so Ryan O'Reilly's angry that I traded away uh, Bogosian. Hey, man, I got to do it. We've got to make this team better. Go to roster moves. All right, I'll do this after. Uh, best lines. Yeah, go ahead. Name a new captain. Um, all right, so that is that is Ernie gone to Edmonton for Griffin Reinhardt. That is Bogosian gone to Winnipeg for Nikolai Ehlers. Now we gotta find the now we gotta find the fourth line left wing position. And I scouted a player on the LA Kings, Kavanov. I think this guy, uh, he went drafted, so you're not going to know the name. Let's see, Kavanaugh, here he is. Medium, top nine, good trade value. He's only 80 overall, 22 years of age, but he's a grinder, all right? And his defensive awareness up at 86, stick checking up at 88. So, hoping that this guy, you know, what's good about him is his role is a minor, league che uh, minor checking forward, but he's right on the brink of, I'd say, becoming a fourth liner or a third liner. So if you put him on the fourth line, maybe by the end of the year he grows a little bit. And the defensive categories and skating, it's decent enough that he can handle it. All right. So maybe this might be a little bit of a drop back, but uh, I want to make sure I just don't have the I don't have the ice time available for like a bunch of mid eighty overall players all throughout the uh, the bottom six. So I got to give it to somebody like this. All right. So. Uh, what do I have for this? Yes, I still have Gergensons and Larson that I have to move. All right, now I don't know if uh, LA, I don't know if LA will have enough room for that. Gergensons and Larson, let me just try it. Might as well. I don't know if they'll have the cap space. I was thinking that for Gergensons and Larson, I'm just gonna have to unload them to a team for some draft picks. I don't need any any other players. Larson, can they accept it? No, they can't accept it. So the LA Kings cannot accept that. That's all right. Actually, do they have any uh? Yeah, you know what? It's one year left. I could do that. Gergensen's is one year left, correct? I could just retain some. Oh, he's got three years left. Hang on. Larson, two years left. No, I don't want to retain salary for those two guys. Does the LA Kings, do they have any players with no trade value but, like, some salary? And for just one year left, I'll take him and he can play in the AHL. Let's see. Salary... Let me just sort. Yeah, sort from the bottom up first year. Uh, Marion Gabrick, one year left, two years left. He could retire, though. But that's dangerous. That's a dangerous contract to take on if it uh, if he doesn't retire. Anybody else with shitty trade value? Hickey, three years left. Damn, LA is spending some money on these players. Uh, Gabrick, I, don't, I, I wouldn't trust that. What about Jordan Ole? Will that go through like that? I don't think so. Hang on a second, boys. Let me do some power of video editing. I'll, I'll figure out this trade. All right, there we go. I uh, I can't believe I didn't see that before, but Larson for Kavanaugh straight up actually does work. So I'll do that, and I'll try to add in a draft pick, like a fourth or a third if I can. All right, ooh, I can get a third out of that. Yeah, all right, so Larson for Kavanaugh and a third. Will it go through? No, it did not. A little bit low for us, so I think if I add in some of my own draft picks here, like some late ones, like a seventh. And a sixth. That should be good enough now. Give me that third. There we go. All right. So Larson traded for Kavanaugh. 
Boom. I had to I had to pull the trigger on it, boys. Go to roster moves. All right. So Ernie's gone. Bogosian's gone. Larson is gone. Last but not least. Oh, my God. Look at all those morale changes. Everyone, I'm breaking the team apart, boys. I'm breaking it apart. And last but not least, we got to get rid of Zemgis Gergensen. There's no place on, his on this team for him. Uh, I know he's a high top six, but he's been a high top six for like five years now. Hasn't grown. He's already 25 years of age. Let's get him out. Let's let him play for another team. Let me find a, uh, a West Coast team that would want him. Minnesota Wild. Let me just get to the draft picks. There you go. Draft picks, no. They want them, but they don't want to give up their first or anything. So I'm not going to give you Zemgus. No. Let me just go through these. I got to find the Western Conference teams. Uh, you know what? They didn't have the salary cap space. No, they didn't. All right, boys. Hang on again. I'll go through this. All right. So I found a team, the Chicago Blackhawks. They're looking for a uh, a depth center. So Zemgus Gergensen's going over to the Western Conference. I'm looking to get a first-round pick and this guy who can play in the AHL. For Gergensen's a fifth and a fourth. I don't know if that'll go through. I might have to get a second and a third. Will it go through? Oh, it did. I got a first out of it. So thank you, Zemgis. Thank you for the first round pick from the Chicago Blackhawks. I'll take it. All right, boys. So there we go. There we go. All the trades. I want to hear what you guys have to say. All the fans in Buffalo. If we had went deeper in the playoffs, it would have been harder to make that trade. But again, I, ha I have to do something here. I have to. I have to change it up. All right, and at least now I don't think we'll run into ice time issues. I still think the team is going to be solid. Oh, my God, is Martin Jones a starter now? 86? No, he's still a backup. How does he, he keeps growing? He's up at 86? Jesus. All right, in the system, Skinner and Kakinen, good. So Skinner is still a minor league backup. That's perfect. He'll grow over the course of the year. Let me just go through this nice and slowly here, boys. Defenseman. All right, so we still have one, two, three, four, five, six. So no more uh, Bogosian, but we got Griffin Reinhardt in there. A lefty and a righty. Very good. Uh, very good. Uh, in the system, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's all the guys down there. I don't need them. NHL forwards. We have 18. Okay, so Durapois. I'm going to have to have, send him down because there was one guy that we had in the squad who looked like he had pretty good defensive stats. This guy, Kutak. So I'm going to bring him up. I already changed him to a two-way forward. Paul Moo, you're going to stay down there, be the winger for Burke Holes. You guys can tear it up down there. All right. And in the NHL, we'll send that Dorpois guy down at 72 overall. That works out for me. All right. So there you go, boys. There you go. That is all the changes. Kavanoff is down to a 79 overall. That's okay. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And I didn't save it. Oh, my God. Oh my god. Oh my god. <sighs> oh my god, EA Sports. Absolutely ridiculous. Shameful. You should be ashamed of yourselves that you would release a game like this. That was actually the story that I was going to tell you guys. I was um, considering that I've had some success with GM mode for for uh, the Buffalo Sabres series. I feel like I've been getting to know it a little bit more. So the other night, I said, all right, fuck it. I'll try. I'll, I'll try to do some GM mode by myself, the Toronto Maple Leafs. And uh, before the year one simulation, you know, I was making all sorts of trades, making moves. I had made like five or six trades Really looked into the, the trades, like doing scouting and all this. I go to a screen, I think it was the roster screen, I try to look at a player and it freezes. What do I do? I turn off my Xbox, walk upstairs. And I I, 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 I I curse myself for even attempting to play this game. EA Sports, you can't even go, what was it, 20 minutes? I made all those fucking moves and your game just freezes on me. It doesn't save it. I have to come back in and redo all the Oh, Jesus. Alright, well, whatever. Let's just continue it. EA Sports is in the game. $79.99, please. We'll fix it next year. That'll be that'll be a fucking uh, uh, promotional. Oh, you can play GM mode without it freezing for 2017. $79.99. Yeah. <sighs> alright, alright. I'm back, boys. I'm back. I'm back. Oh, Jesus. Alright, so let's do some line changes, shall we? You know what? I already did, uh, I already went and made the trades. I got everyone back on the team. Hopefully, I haven't made any mistakes. Let me, uh, let me do some line changes. I'll be right back again. All right, so, now that we've had those delays, 
I got the line changes done, and this is what your year five Buffalo Sabres are going to look like during the regular season. The first line, staying the same, Eichel, O'Reilly, Reinhardt. Second line, Evander Kane, Kyle Turris, Wayne Simmons. So I'm looking at those guys to get it done. Third line, Nikolai, Ehlers, Ehlers, Giorgio Estefan, and Yanni Alton. And power forward, two-way forward, playmaker. I'm hoping that Ehlers can get Estefan and Alton in some extra points, which will allow them to grow to take on take on the second line for next year. And then the fourth line, Kavanov, Kutak, and Baptiste. So I know our team doesn't look as good as it did at the beginning of the video with all 84 overall players, but I got specific players for specific roles and they won't be angry with their ice time all right defensively victor hedman ryan ellis sean day Gooley, griffin reinhardt and rasmus ristolainen looks a little bit different with the uh, bogosian not there but day and Gooley both grew to 86 so we're fine now i made sure to give some guys extra power play time evander kane's got it on the point right there wayne simmons got it on the point down here and we got estefan and altonen on the wings for the second line power play i know day and Gooley don't have any power play time but because they're top four and they're getting top four minutes and they're on the uh they're on this four man power play and they're on the penalty kill they'll be fine with their ice time i need to make sure that the forwards get theirs kyle terrace is on the first uh for the four on for the four man power play hang on special teams that's a penalty kill ryan o'reilly uh baptiste i gave first line penalty kill time because he's on the fourth line listed as a third liner so hopefully that's enough ice time for him sean day victor hedman Gooley, and rasmus you see they're getting their ice time kutak and estefan these guys are getting their ice time so everyone's getting ice time here boys we should be okay malcolm suban and martin jones and if uh some of our top guns are complaining about ice time i can make some changes i i don't think i'll be in a bad spot and in the ahl we got uh petrus palmu right wing sniper i'm hoping that he can grow even though he's only listed as a top nine he can definitely help out the ahl this year and burkholz this is the real deal right here dennis burkholz right wing sniper right handed he's 20 years of age he'll be in the nhl when he's 21 i'm hoping for a good year alongside of uh, palmu we also have uh, Pooh down there but pretty much all of our young guns are in the nhl squad now all right, you can see. And then we have Datsuk in there. I think we had Dadanoff starting. Let's see. Yeah, Dadanoff is down there. We have some depth guys down in the minors. And we also have our goaltender, Stuart Skinner. He's down here. He's listed as a minor league backup goalie, so he's not out of place. If he grows over 79 over this year, he'll get more games played. So we're fine down there. But uh, I don't know, Malcolm Subban, it's his team right now, and he can make a name for himself. He's got the chance. All right, boys. So that's enough waiting. That's enough... Uh, you know, fiddling around with the roster. Now we just got to simulate. We got to see if this team can put it together. So what was our, uh, let me just see this. Our locker room chemistry dropped 75. Makes sense. I made a lot of changes. The locker room is going to be a little bit different. But um, you remember last year, you know, we didn't start off the year too well. And then it was somewhere in the mid-season mark. I made the trade for Palm and P and we started to turn it on. So I, as long as we're decent for the first part of the season, I won't, uh, I won't start to, you know, panic hit the abort button i made the trades early i made the trades before we even started the season so that i wouldn't be tinkering all throughout the year i didn't want to have a year where you know after the first 25 games i feel now i need to make the trade no i made the trade and really there's no other trades that i can make to help this team out the team's got to get it done with the roster that i've provided and if they don't then the players need to be changed all right not the uh management the top players so sim to the next game i'll be getting better at this boys all right, I can see hold team meeting. Yeah, see, I've been playing it a little bit. And then a freaking shut down on me. I didn't pick it up again. Hold the team meeting. The real season is here, boys. And if I see you dogging it out there tonight, we'll, we'll all be in for a good bag skate tomorrow. No, no, no. This is just one of 82, so let's focus on our game and the results will come. I like that. I want you all to get out there and bring your A game right out of the gates starting tonight. We've trained all season for this, and I know we can win. Focus on the system and get the job done. All right, well, you guys always say choose number two, so I'll go with number two. Hey, and you guys were right. All right, very nice. Wayne Simmons, it's an honor to be wearing the C for the Zion. No. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, you'll, you, you keep working like that, and you'll be wearing it for a long time? No. Uh, don't take it for granted. It can be taken away as quickly as it was given. You know what? I, <laughs> I think I have to say that. Ah, you stupid game. I forgot about it. Best lines, and it automatically chooses. See, this is the, this is what sucks. I don't mind it choosing my uh, my captains for me, but when there's morale tied in with it, now I gotta now Wayne Simmons is gonna be angry that he's been stripped. 
All right, well, last year it was O'Reilly, Turris, and Hedman who had the alternates. I'm going to maintain those three. All right, so Hedman, you're going to get an alternate as well. Two big free agent signings, Turris and Hedman, back-to-back -back years. But the uh, the guy that we have to give captaincy to, it's not going to be Sam Reinhardt, too young. It's not going to be Jaiko, way too young. Um, any of our young guns, no. It's got to be the guy who's been our first line center position for the last, what, four years? He's been getting it done, Ryan O'Reilly. I, I say this guy is the team captain, all right? Assign captaincy to Ryan O'Reilly. I press the X button. There you go, all right, boys? Wayne Simmons has lost morale for being stripped of the captain. See what I mean? <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> all right, so let's get this. And uh, Victor Hedman has gained morale as well. Poor Victor Hedman. I mean, uh, poor Wayne Simmons. So let's go, boys. Let's see what we have in store here for the season. We'll go one week at a time. First game of the season, and we win in overtime. Beautiful. Nice two points to start off the year. Followed up by a regulation loss. All right, all right. Locker room chemistry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of things are flashing in my face right now. Jack Eichel's gained morale because of ice time. So is Evander Kane. Good. So I haven't messed around with the ice time. Ryan Ellis has gained morale because of ice time. Let me just see here at the top. Buffalo Sabres have lo gained locker room chemistry. Beautiful. So no one's complaining about ice time. Uh, go to player morale. Yeah, let's see. What do you have to say? What you got to say there, Ryan O'Reilly? Captaincy? I would like to thank you for giving me the captaincy. I'm glad you are happy. You've deserved it for a while. Uh, you keep working hard like you've been doing, and you'll wear it for a long time. Yeah, let's get this guy. Now, how is that a negative effect? <laughs> what? How? How is that? Did I look at him the wrong way? Did I look at him cross-eyed? Did, uh, did I size him up while I was telling him that? How could that possibly have a negative reaction? Normally, you make good decisions, but I'm not happy about losing my captaincy. Well, blame EA Sports. The best lines feature did it. Uh, you need to pull up your socks and get out there and show me I made the wrong choice. There you go. Yeah, Wayne Simmons. Show me I made negative effect. Oh, my God. Season is not starting off the right way here in Buffalo, boys. <laughs> the players are not liking decisions made by GM Superman. Shut the hell up and play hockey. All right, my job. I'm not Dr. Phil. GM Dr. Phil. I'm not supposed to make you guys feel better about yourself. I'm supposed to create a team that can win a Stanley Cup. You're going to be a bunch of whiny crybabies? Then fucking tell me and I'll, I'll, I'll suggest a trade. You guys have a chance at a brilliant roster I've, I've put together. It's been a long time coming, but look at this. 5-1-0 to start the year. Fucking man up and play, you babies. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, all right. So I haven't had anything about um, bad ice time, which is good. That's the major one that I didn't want to have to deal with. Evander Kane. When you're as good as me, recent performances like these are just the norm. He always says this. There's a lot to be proud of. Good work. A negative effect? Good. <laughs> Vander Gaines not a moron, apparently. Uh, what was that negative? It was a negative for Griffin Reinhardt, right? I think I saw a negative for Reinhardt. What, what happened? Reinhardt, where are you? Reinhardt. Griffin. What happened? What happened? Ice time. Lost morale because of ice time. All right, all right. I gotta get. I gotta find a way to give Griffin more ice time. No, 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 no. I'm not messing around with chemistry. I, 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 I respect chemistry. Griffin Reinhardt needs some more uh, ice time. I'll give him some like five on three penalty kill time or something like that. You know, he's top six, but I don't think he's got any special teams time. So special teams power play. I can't get you in there. I can't get you in there. Uh, can't get you in there. You're gonna have to be a penalty killer. Uh, special teams. All right, penalty kill. Uh, Ristolain and Gooley. I gotta give Ristolain and Gooley. I'll take Gooley off. There you go. I'll give I'll give you this spot here. All right. There you go. Griffin Reinhardt changing current line. All right. There you go, Griffin. You got some penalty kill time. That'll add I don't know maybe an extra two minutes a game for you. So make it work. All right. Uh, sim to the next game. Yes. Let's keep on going here. 6-3-0 oh to start the year. Good. I'm finally getting into a, a pattern or a routine here where the Buffalo Sabres are a damn good simulating team. I don't have to worry about shit. Tied in with the faster simulation engine, we should be plowing through these seasons. All right. Edit scouting assignment. I'll keep my uh, scouting in the OHL. Good Don Cherry boy. You know, he always says the uh, GTHL, best place to find the young guns. <laughs> Stam, he'll go down the list. Stamkos, uh, uh, John Tavares. <laughs> here we go. Yeah, boys, 10-4-0. So, what do you guys think about the trades that GM Superb Men made? My, you gotta look at it like this from my perspective. My goal was to make a team that could win games and not complain about ice time. So far, we've only had one complaint about ice time, and it was from a top six player. Hasn't uh, popped up since, and we're 10-5-2. and two. 
So maybe, you know, in hindsight, maybe we could have uh, made it work with the team that we had, but at least we're winning games and uh, I don't have to worry about ice time. And like I said, the young players, hopefully they can get better. Now all of a sudden I start to talk promising about our team. We start to lose games. All right, go to player morale. Let's see what happens here. Hold a team meeting. What was the team meeting? Boys, we're on a losing streak. Yeah, 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 yeah. Focus. I'll choose number two like you guys say. Here we go. Yep. Wayne Simmons didn't like it. The former captain. When I look at my performances in recent games, it doesn't paint a pretty picture. Oh, my God. Wayne Simmons has been all oh, Jesus. <laughs> Wayne, we got to get you going, my man. Uh, the numbers are black and white. It's time for you to produce. Positive effect. All right. There we go. We got him. Estefan's becoming a leader, boys. Oh, Estefan, the leader. Future captain, maybe? Maybe. Jack Eichel, he's happy because of ice time. And we got the win. We broke up that losing streak, which is huge. All right. Let's keep on going here. Let's keep on going. Let's, uh, let's, let's. I don't want to go too far because I do. I want to see what you guys have to say, but let's. I want to set it up for the next video to be the end of the regular season. All right, so yeah, we'll get to uh, the end of December. Yeah, we'll finish this last month. All right, so eleven nine and three. We started off good. We've act look at this. We're losing games. Hang on, stop the simulation. Stop the simulation. All right, Griffin Reinhardt on the penalty kill. I don't know, man. <laughs> we were doing much better when you weren't there. Holy shit, what happened? 92, 92, 93. I mean, we're fun. We're a great team. Uh. I could always move Ehlers around. Was he a minus? Let me see. Minus eight. Yeah. Second line. Minus three. First line. Minus one. Everyone's just okay. We're we're just getting beat. We can turn it on. We can turn it on. We did it last year. Ellis. Yeah. You know what I'm gonna do? Ella, uh, Reinhardt. You may not like this, my man. We we were winning games before I made this change. And uh, I know Gooley's got some good defensive stats. Maybe that was the wrong decision. Changing current line. There you go. All right, Reinhardt. You're coming off there. But you can go in on the three-man penalty kill. All right? Reinhardt. There we go. Changing current line. Very good. Griffin, I got you as a top six. You can't be the one complaining about ice time. All right? That, that won't fly. So, yeah. We'll definitely just go up to the end of uh, December. Hopefully, we can turn it on. So, let's have a good end to this, to this month here, boys. Now, now the trades all of a sudden don't look like a good decision. There we go. There's two wins in a row. Griffin Reinhardt goes back on the penalty kill. I mean, comes off the penalty kill. We win two in a row. Three in a row. And we've only allowed three games. Three goals over three games. It's more like it. Yeah, all right, all right. I got to keep I gotta keep Gooley on the penalty kill. Edit scouting assignments. Uh, OHL again. <laughs> Everyone's going to be pissed off. I'm staying in the OHL. Uh, no, I don't need that. No, 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 no. I don't, I'm not making any trades. I'm holding on to my team right now. I made enough trades. Uh, Rochester's 20 wins, six losses, and uh, two overtime losses. So that's Burkholz down there. There's a win. Uh, that's another loss. Three of the last four. Four of the last five. All right, all right. So 15, 15, and three. Oh, hang on. Two more games. There's a win. One more win. Come on, one more win. One more win. There you go. All right, boys. So... I, I think we have a good team. Maybe there's some line changes that I could uh, make to, you know, iron out some problems with our squad. Let's go through the stats and just take uh, take a look at where we are. Good news. Good news is that the locker room chemistry is up at 82%, and we're in a spot that. Uh, well, actually, look at that. We're not in a uh, playoff spot. Montreal Canadiens, Boston Bruins, and Tampa Bay Lightning, and the Ottawa Senators. They all have good records this year. All right, so we're gonna have to uh, come back from this. All right, that's okay, boys. That's okay. Before we take a look at the stats, let's go to the progress reports. Let's take a look at uh, who's growing. So Altonen has gone up by seven. That's good. Let's see Altonen, Katak, and Estefan. So these guys are slowly growing. Let's take a look at in the system. Yokola, Pecker, Burkholz, he went up by 10. So he's up at 80. He'll definitely be ready for next year. Good. What about uh, Stuart Skinner? Is he up there? Will they show goalies in this? Stuart Skinner, he's not growing at all. God damn it, Stuart Skinner. He's played 13 games, so he's getting the games played. All right, so no one's really growing. Um, let me just take a look at the lines. What do you guys think? Any line changes I could potentially make? I could always move Baptiste up to the third line. But I don't think it's our third line that was hurting us. I think we're allowing too many goals right now. Ellis. I could also move Gouli or Day up to the first line. And what about goaltenders? Let's see. Is Malcolm Subban getting it done? Malcolm Subban's up to 90 overall. I gotta leave him, man. He's yeah, I think I think we'll be able to turn it around. I think maybe it's just a little bit of a coincidental uh simulation right now. I I think we have a good team. I really do. So stats, let's take a look at the player stats. See who's producing and who's not producing. I, I think maybe just a line change or two, you know? Power play line change, maybe. Uh so points. Kyle Turris, our second line. 
Our second line has the most points this year. Look at this, 27 points in 35 games played. Wayne Simmons, 26. Jack Eichel, 26. Ryan O'Reilly, only 24 points. Uh, but you know what? It's kind of on pace for what he's normally done. Sam Reinhardt, 23. That could be a lot better. Evander Kane, that could be better. Estefan, Altonen, and Ehlers. The third line's letting in a lot of goals, all right? So maybe I could throw in a more defensive player instead of uh, Ehlers. Estefan's got 15 points. Altonen's got 12. I can maybe move Baptiste up to that uh, third line there, boys. What do you guys think about that? And defenseman, let's take a look here. Ellis, 12 points. Hedman's only got 10 points. Hedman does not get points, man. Sean Day, 4 points. Rasmus Rissolainen, 3. Gooley, 3. Ryan Hart and three. They're all minus players. That's not good. And let's see Malcolm Subban. Malcolm Subban, 90 overall. Nine, uh, 0.914, excuse me. 0.914 and goals against just below 2.5. So, I don't know. I think, uh, I think our stats are misleading just because we're losing games. I feel like we have a good team. Like the Montreal Canadiens, Boston Bruins, Tampa Bay Lightning, Ottawa Senators. We got to we gotta start winning to catch them. But uh, I think we'll do it. All right. So what do you guys think? Let me know about the trades. We still have more than half the regular season to go. And we'll do that in the next video. But uh, don't fret. I think we'll pull it out this year. We'll make it into the playoffs. All right, boys. So let me know what you think. And I'll see you in the next one.